We welcome head coach Brian Dutcher and student athletes for San Diego State, Mr. Bradley and Mr. Pulliam. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Dutcher, then move to questions for coach and the student athletes. Coach Dutcher. Just a really good college basketball game. Unfortunately, we ended up on the losing end of it. But that's March. It's the agony and the ecstasy of March. And uh, I thought we competed at a high level, put ourselves in a position to win. But to Creighton's credit, they closed the game and, and, and beat us. So I couldn't be more proud of my team, how they prepared, how they fought. And uh, it's just part of life. It's, uh, you're not going to always get what you want. And, uh, but that doesn't mean you don't work for it. doesn't mean you don't want it. Sometimes you just don't get it. And we wanted to win. So did Creighton, and they made more plays than we did down the stretch to get the victory. So happy uh, for our effort, proud of my team, proud of the seniors that played their last game at San Diego State. But congratulations to Creighton, and good luck moving forward. Okay. Questions here in Fort Worth. We'll start on the, in the back on the left-hand side. Um, just for Trey and Matt, um, just can you take us through what happened in the last few minutes of, uh, of regulation there. Trey, you can start. Uh, I think they just turned up the press on us. Um, they just made plays when they needed to make plays. Um, yeah, they just made the plays that they needed to make, really, and took it into overtime and just kind of ran with it. Um. <clears throat> Uh, all I can really rec remember is, you know, it was a tie game. I don't know how many seconds left. I was at the free throw line. I ended up missing the one-on-one, -on -one, and that sent us in overtime. So uh, just wishing I could have made those free throws. Next question for the student athletes or Coach Dutcher. Right-hand side, about halfway back. Dutch, I think you guys were up nine with, like, 229 left in regulation. Was there... Any single moment in there that you thought really turned it and changed it down the stretch? You know, I don't know how many turnovers we had against the press. I think maybe one. Uh, you know, the one where three guys were on Lamont and uh, we tried to call a timeout. I asked, you know, I asked one of the officials, I said, what happened? There are three guys on there. I thought he was fouled. He said, I, I didn't see anything. So what can you do? You know, they, they got a steal on that. Uh, I think we threw the ball away one time, but uh, we made enough plays where we have to finish with a layup, we have to finish with a free throw, we have to finish plays. And we didn't finish enough of them. So uh, that's college basketball. I, I watch these games every day, watching all these teams go against press at the end. And as much as you can say, well, geez, they should be able to solve the press. Every game I watch, teams have trouble with the press down the stretch. So we had trouble, but still, we broke it. We got down the floor, but we didn't finish at the other end. Once we broke it, we didn't get points out of those possessions a lot of times. Whether it was drive, miss a layup, miss a putback, miss a free throw, we had opportunities and we didn't close when we had those opportunities. And to their credit, they did. Just to get some clarification on this, Chad was so hot in the first half, I think he had 12 point, or, uh, 15 points in 12 minutes. He only played five minutes in the second half. Why was that? Just he's got to become better defensively, you know. And, and we've got a lot of good players on this team. We have a deep bench. And so uh, we had a six, seven, eight-point lead back and forth most of that half, you know, fairly comfortable. And we felt we could close the game with good defense and good offense. And obviously Chad had a magnificent stretch when he was in there. But obviously we put the guys in the game we thought would win for us down the stretch. And we didn't make enough plays. More questions here in the room. Right hand side again. Coach, there's a lot of talk uh, today about the Mountain West struggles, and it's been nine games in a row. Um, obviously, you're worried about your own team, but is there anything that you can see to get, to get over the hump there? I just think that's the flavor of the week. Last year it was the Big Ten. Right now it's the Mountain West, and uh, tomorrow after the games, it might be someone else. So that's March Madness. So uh, I, I said this earlier in the week. You know, everyone was uh, upset about how the Big Ten played last year. And you turn around, they got nine teams in this year. So hopefully our conference continues to play well, put teams in here, and uh, we get on a run. 
Uh, we're more than capable. Any more questions here? Go to the left-hand side. Uh, Matt, uh, after you missed the free throws at Boise State, you talked about wanting another opportunity. You had one tonight. Were you thinking about that? Um, was that in your mind? And, and, and you know, how do you sort of process all that? Um, yeah, most definitely. I was just, you know, I knew this was my second chance, you know, that me and Dutch, Coach Dutch had been talking about, you know. And, um, yeah, you know, yeah, Boise State didn't really go through my mind, but I knew this is my opportunity to close the game at the free throw line. And it, cause it doesn't come down to skill. It comes down to just belief, um, swagger, <clears throat> something that, I, you know, I've been lacking. And it's been a theme towards the end of the game for, you know, pretty much this whole season. So, it's just, you know, during this off season, definitely got to do some, you know, soul searching and, you know, figure out what it is with me mentally that's causing me to do that because it doesn't come down to skill. So, yeah. Okay. Question for Trey. You talked last year about, you know, how rough that, that loss against Syracuse was. You weren't really in the game. Obviously, this one is a different way. I mean, is this a worse way to lose? I know there's no great way to lose, but is this sting more than, than maybe that Syracuse game did? Uh, I would say probably, yeah, just because, I mean, we were up with two minutes and I feel like we just gave them the game, like we had it in our hands. But um, like Coach Dutch said, that's credit to them. They made plays down the stretch. Uh, they made plays when they needed to. We just came up a little short. Jeff's right there, okay. Jimmy Watkins, Omaha World Herald. Um, Dutch, I, I know it, it hurt to see, but to see a freshman point guard play the way that Trey Alexander did at the end of that game. Um, what, what would you make of his performance tonight? Played great down the stretch. He made important plays down the stretch. And I thought our defense was pretty good for most of the part. Didn't want to give him threes for Hawkins or, or uh, uh, why am I, O'Connell. Mm -hmm. O'Connell. Yeah. And they had one for the game. We want to pressure defense. We forced 20 turnovers. So I thought our defense was pretty good, but Trey broke us down at the end. He got in the paint. He made important plays in the, in the paint at the end of the game, and that's what it is. You know, you have to make plays down the stretch, and they made more than we did, and he made his fair share down the stretch to help them win the game. Any more questions? If not, guys, we'll let you go. Thank you for being here. Thanks, everyone.